beautiful 71 degree day in Southern California. Look from above at Staples Center in downtown LA as TNT's playoff coverage continues in a series that will be remembered for this non-call by Joey Crawford in game four in San Antonio as Derek Fisher made contact with Brent Barry attempting that last second shot. The NBA confirming last night that a foul should have been called which would have given two free throws to Barry free throws that could have tied the game. But tonight it is on to game five of the Western Conference Final with the defending NBA champion Spurs hoping to stay alive while the Lakers seek to close out the series and head to the finals for the first time since 2004. A 5-2 lead here in the opening minutes for the Spurs. Bryant changing his mind, gets it back. Shot clock to seven. Here's Kobe. Now he makes that, Mark. That's a tough shot. Bowen made him work incredibly hard on that shot. Bryant open for an instant, but Bowen with a good recovery. Here's Bryant on the drive and scores. Bill Jackson was talking about Bruce Bowen. He said, the guy's got quick hands. I know all that kind of stuff, but Kobe, 29 shots, no free throws. I think he's also an illusionist. <laughs> As Finley knocks it down. Mato Ginobili coming on for Bruce Bowen and hoping to turn it from what took place in game four. He had that sensational game through. There's the bank shot for Tim Duncan. See, the double team does not bother him with Fisher on that play if he just goes up and shoots the ball. When he puts it on the floor is when Fisher becomes pesky. Duncan swings inside. Nice move again by Duncan. Brian saw that one coming. A great switch there, and Kobe goes right into the passing lane. Nice way for Gasol. In a game like this, turnovers and second chance on the road is what kills you. And we've seen it a couple times here tonight. Ginobili for three, yes. And that even makes it a better start. Plus 13, you're gonna have to rest Kobe. Now you get the second unit in the second quarter. Can the Spurs keep pushing the lead? Ginobili, nice ball fake, and he scores. So Mono Ginobili showing signs after the subpar game four. Mata with a three and a two. It's a 17 to two run for San Antonio. And it's getting very restless in here. Here's the crossover by Bryant. Finishes with the reverse. Well, when he looks out there, all there is is Tim Duncan and four small. So Kobe Bryant knows if he can get in the lane, there's no one there to, to challenge his shots. Bryant forcing. It counts in the foul. Kurt Thomas did everything right, except at the last minute, watch this. He reaches in right there, hits him on the elbow. That's what you want to do. You want to make Kobe a jump shooter, hits him on the elbow, knocks down the jump shot. Kobe Bryant now on the evening, four of eight, and this will be his first free throw attempt of the night. He has been shooting primarily jump shots. Uh, one of the reasons that he's not been able to get to the line, which is fine with Greg Popovich. He does not want to see Kobe at the line. Here's Bryant, beautifully done. Make him work hard, keep him off the foul line, and you've done your job. Bruce Bowen wants to take that competitive challenge, but don't start fouling him and get yourself in trouble. You're so important to your team's defense. Now to urging Kobe to shoot, gets inside on a double team, then pops it out. Fisher for three. 17-point lead has evaporated. It's down to nine. Parker rebounded it by Odom. There's Odom on the move. It counts in the foul. The foul on Thomas, who tried to slap it away. Final seconds. Three-second differential, though, between the game clock and shot clock. Bryant got the step. And Greg Popovich cannot be happy with that uncontested drive. Here's Parker on the run. Bowen changed his mind. Parker fires. And that is the end of the first half. Well, I think in that last situation, Tim Duncan should have trapped Kobe Bryant. He tried to sort of corral him and run beside him, and Toby is too fast. He turns the corner. But on this play, you got to trap Kobe Bryant. And Tim Duncan took a poor angle. Brent Berry should have come over and gotten the ball out of his hands. You cannot let Kobe Bryant give his team that kind of feeling going into halftime. The number one concern has to be Kobe Bryant. How will you defend him in the second half? 
who, who knows? I mean, I, I, I can't read the future. So I'm going to do my best to try to get a hand up on every shot and understand that if he hits something, he's the MVP. And if not, I'm sure I'll hear bad things from you guys. All right. Thanks a lot. Good job by Gasol fronting Duncan. But Finley off the mark on that shot. Had a, had a good look. Bryant. Yes. Keep your eye on Greg Popovich tonight with his timeouts. He uses them quickly against the Lakers, against some teams. He lets his team go through it. I think a 6-0 run tonight, you'll see a timeout here in the second half. Bryant, yes. It's a four-point lead. After a 28-point first quarter, the Lakers, I mean, excuse me, the Spurs have now scored 28 points from that point in time. The Laker defense is really toughening. Coming up on four minutes to go in the third. Odom, yes. Bryant squeezing his way through to set it up for Gasol. The Lakers are with it too. You know, sometimes in this league, Mark, you got to get a little lucky. I remember when I was in Chicago, we got uh, Scotty Pippen and Horace Wayne as uh, Kobe Bryant knocks down that shot. But sometimes in the draft, you got to get a lucky. That's how championship teams are built. Sometimes you got to get a lucky trade. 13 Mark for 38 now for the Spurs after starting. 13 for 19. Bryant, and now the Lakers lead by a point. They double up on Bryant to try to trap him in the corner, could not. Shot clock to five, Romanovich for three. The Lakers have come back from a 17-point deficit. And right, here is Bryant for three. The Lakers extend to a 67-63 lead, their biggest lead of the night as this fourth quarter gets underway. Bobar played tightly by Parker, but got the step to set it up for Walt for three. Those are plays that you work on in practice in your break ground, Darrell. When a guy drives baseline, you slide down to that corner to give him an outlet. Bobar to the reverse. called by the Spurs. San Antonio has led by as many as 17. Now trailing by four. Bryant! Oh, a gorgeous scoop by Kobe Bryant. See, Tim Duncan is out trying to corral the ball, but uh, Kobe just keeps the dribble alive. We saw guys on the perimeter there reaching. At this point in the game, you've got to get in there and you've got to force Kobe Bryant to pick that dribble up and try to make a pass. Bryant! 29 for Kobe. He's hit 13 of 23 from the field. Bryant. Come on now. That's too good over Tim Duncan floating in the lane. Kobe Bryant. Bryant. Come on. Come on, Mark. I mean, Tim Duncan had a hand in his face. 20 of his 33 in the second half. Duncan played well by Gasol, although Duncan thought he was fouled. This is Derek Fisher time, too. Tony Parker's got to be very careful. Fisher loves these kind of moments. They are on their feet here at Staples. Bryant to the rim. Timeout called by the Spurs, Kobe Bryant. With his high for this series, 35, he has been unstoppable in the second half. He's done it by taking to the rim. He's done it with the fadeaway. And the Lakers lead by seven. Final minute of the fourth. Bryant on the drive, and he will head to the line. You know, I look at Kobe Bryant out there, and I think competitor, incredibly skilled, strong-willed, but Mark, is there a better conditioned player in the NBA? This man takes all this defense, and here he is trying to put his team to the finish. And you know how much it means for Kobe Bryant to get back to the finals as the most valuable player as the Lakers 
are just 33 seconds away from accomplishing that feat. A Laker team that has come a long way from a year ago. Well, Kobe Bryant is on a mission, Marv. He's been the MVP of the league. If he goes on and gets to the NBA Finals, which it looks like happens, if they beat uh, whoever it is in the East to get to that, and he's the MVP, and then this summer, he's looking at a possible Olympic gold medal. There's only been one other player to do that. That's a guy named Michael Jordan. So Kobe is looking at a possible fairy tale year. Mm. It's unbelievable. No foul given. Lakers get it across. And that will do it. As Vujicic fires, he hits. And that will count. They'll have to review it. Did you see uh, Michael Finley? He looked over at Vujicic and like, you know, why you take that shot right. at the end of the game? We're not fouling. You don't shoot that shot. In fact, they wave off the review. It was all academic. But apparently got it off on time. And the final score, as you see, the Lakers 100, the Spurs 92, as they defeat the defending NBA champion San Antonio Spurs in five. Where's Kobe run off to? Kobe, what, um, you know, last year, there are probably a lot of folks in here who's wondered if you'd have that uniform on again. What does it mean to you to stand here with this bunch and that trophy heading to the NBA Finals? Now, you know, this is, this is a dream come true. It's a dream come true, man. It's, it's such a blessing. And, uh, you know, to have it to share with a group of guys that, you know, like brothers, it's, uh, it's an unbelievable feeling. It's the answer to prayer. As out of sync, maybe, as you guys looked in the first half, you're down by 17, you had kind of a look that, that said, I don't really want to go back to San Antonio. Uh, can you describe your mindset going into the second half of this game? Well, we knew we could play better. You know, the, the first half, it was tough for us because it kind of caught us off guard with the speed and some of the things that they ran. And, you know, we, we just wanted to cut the deficit to a manageable game. Uh, by halftime, we did that, came out the second half, and uh, put our foot on the gas. You're going back to the finals for the first time since 04. How does that feel to you? It's exciting. I mean, I, we're all excited, you know, and uh, I'm, just, I'm just happy for my guys, happy for the city, and uh, we ain't done yet. The Western Conference champion, Los Angeles Lakers.